Say good morning. Hi. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Watch. Watch what? Are you sure your sparkly nails? Hug like this. Put your hands down like that, baby. Like this. Ooh, sparkly purple. Cool. Cool, I know. Well, it's been a minute, so I figured we'll do a get ready and catch up with me video because... Uh, what? What? Two. The last, gosh, like two-ish months... Two. Two. <laughs> have. have been just really crazy with like um, the holidays what? and everything. What? You're funny. Um, between the holidays, her birthday, my husband's birthday, Thanksgiving, Christmas, everything in between. We welcomed a new baby into the family. Um, our cousin had her baby at the end of November, so which was super exciting. Um, it's always fun to welcome in a new baby. But um, the reason that I have not filmed in a minute is because I have not been feeling well. Um, there's nothing medically wrong, but we are expecting. Um, so Bella is going to be a big sister in August. Bye. We're due August 11th. Bye. What's in mommy's tummy? A baby. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. Yeah. Are you excited to be a big sister? <laughs> Do you want a brother or a sister? A sister? A brother? Yeah. Well, there's only one cooking, kids, so Daddy. you only get one option. Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy doesn't have a brother. He has a sister, silly goose. I know. Daddy. Your auntie. Yeah. Auntie. You're one of many aunties. We call all of my friends like her aunties too, so like she's got a lot of aunts. Um, but we, well, I found out actually. Um, what? Yeah. But. Paul? You've got your phone? <laughs> You're never going to let me finish this video, huh? Um, I found out on, but, gosh, the, was but, it the 23rd of November? Yeah. I found out a while ago where I was literally only like two or three weeks pregnant where like you can, I was still like a couple days shy of technically being able to take a test, but, um, after Bella's birthday party for like three or four days, I was extremely nauseous, just did not feel good, which is really not like me. I cannot tell you the last time I've had the flu, anything like that. So, um, and I will swear by this every single time, the Natural Cycles app. I've been using it for... four years now um they have been very accurate every time with Bella's pregnancy um we weren't necessarily trying for a baby with Bella but we were blessed to get her um and we oh wow that's a lot can you go get a uh, tissue please because yeah. you don't need that much yeah, you got a little face, silly girl. Um, it had yeah. like, yeah. you wiped it off? Yeah. Hold on. Okay, so with Bella, the app had told me, you might wanna take a test, your temperatures are off, oh. normal than what they usually are. Yeah. So, took yeah. a test, found out we were having Bella. Similar thing this time. Um, it didn't necessarily give me the alert yet, but it had said to, Take it, it recommended, it didn't say to. It had recommended taking a test on December 4th, um, which once I saw that, like the little icon on it, I was like, oh, I gotta take it sooner than that because I wanna know. <laughs> um, um, <laughs> so yeah, took a test. Well, took like two or three. And then after that, 
it showed positive. At the end of December, we had our first, actually a couple days. Okay, let's, let's give that back to mommy. It's glass. You can play with this one. Okay. Thank you. No, that one can give you owies. So let me see, please. Bella, five, four, three. Thank you. Two, one. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, getting ready with a toddler. I'll tell you. Um, yes, we had our appointment at the end of December to just confirm that everything is viable. We are only having one. <laughs> um, I have said before in the past that my dad is a twin, so unsure how that would affect our chances of a pregnancy of twins um but I always just kind of have like that nervous tick of what would I do with two okay here watch let me help you hand out put your hand out now rub it rub it in your hands in your hands first silly you're so funny and then on your face you silly goose. <laughs> Has to be like mommy. Um, so yeah, we will find out hopefully at the end of this month what we're having. Um, my husband and I, we do, we have said this before, like we want a boy solely because we have a lot of women on both sides of our family. But um, I don't really know what I feel like we're having. For a long time, I felt like it was a boy because I have been only nauseous i haven't actually oh. been sick with bella i was sick like daily could i could hold food down but a couple times out of the day i'd be going to the bathroom and it just wasn't fun until like the day of the second trimester which is fine um this time i've just uh. <laughs> it's been like all day i just do not feel good like, no no we don't need to play with that right now Oh, geez. You having fun? Oh, really? <laughs> You're being sassy pants. I can see it. <laughs> also, do not judge me for getting her nails painted. I understand that she's only two. However, now that we are on a time <laughs> limit of just me and my first girl, Hi. I'm going to do the mommy-daughter bonding thing. And she had so much fun. The paint's already coming off. It's fine. There was no gel, anything like that. Um, but this time, what was I saying before this? I just have not felt good. Like, I usually don't nap with Bella in the middle of the day. And, like, I've been needing to. <laughs> and um, I'm really not... I'm really not someone that will complain about not feeling good, but like when I've been at tumbling and stuff, my energy is just non-existent. And the interesting thing is with Bella's pregnancy and the same with this one, normally I have my Nespresso coffee. Hey, careful. You got your socks? Yeah. You wearing two pairs of socks? Um, normally I make my morning coffee, I, this kid, um, make my morning coffee, sit, drink it. I do not care for coffee during my pregnancies, which is weird because I, if you know me, you know that for many, many years, I have been big on coffee. Um, you got what you need? Your socks? Are you going to put them on yourself? My mommy. Are you, do you need help? No. No? Okay. Big girl. Um, yeah. So no coffee, nothing like that. I don't know. I don't get the caffeine headaches, anything like that. I just don't want it. Um, my cravings this time around really have not been... I don't know it really varies like it hasn't been like just sweets just salty um I have noticed 
Oh, okay. I have noticed lately that if I eat anything that is on the saltier side, I don't feel good after. Um, and so I've really been minimizing like sodium. Do you need some help? Okay, how do we ask? Help mama. There you go. Okay, take a breath. If we're frustrated, let's take a breath. Good. Now let me help you. You did the first one so well. Good job, babe. Nice job. There you go. Um, I did. High five. I did. You're awesome. awesome. Do you know where the lid is to this? Hmm. Look at that. Oh, gosh, Mama. Right in front of my face, huh? Gosh, Mama. <laughs> Can you do that again? Ready? Gosh, Mama. You want to sit? Yeah. Okay, here. You want to sit on my lap? Yeah. No. Yeah. You want to sit on your step stool? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow. You are awesome. Um, I'm rambling at this point in this video, but um, yeah, this one, it's been different. There's been some similarities. So I don't know. I, part of me want, really, really wants to believe that we're having a boy. The other part of me is really thinking we're having another girl. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. We'll find out at the end of this month. Um, a, another big change that is coming. I don't know if this makes me ambitious or crazy uh, with our timing. What? You make a silly face? <laughs> oh, wow. Daddy working? I know. Um, I also, way back in um, September yeah. of last year, September of last year, I, September of last year, I interviewed for the IRS, um, for a revenue officer position and at the beginning of December received my tentative offer. So yes, we are having a baby in August. Yes, I am taking on another full-time job. However, taking on a full-time job. However, I'm not leaving tumbling. Um, I do only have to do that two to three days a week. And realistically, my husband and I thought about it. Bella has started classes there recently. And with how much we're already going to be there with her, it just makes sense. I, And I really, I don't, it's my passion, but I also just really... I have an attachment to the kids. They're probably going to watch this. Um, I don't tell them that I do, but just the thought of leaving is very, very hard for me. Um, so we're going to see how it goes. I will probably be absolutely exhausted. I'm going to try to film as much as I can along the way and just see how everything goes. But um, if you're excited for all of our transitions here, Go ahead and subscribe, follow along with our new journey. Um, I will have some videos coming up of telling my husband. Um, I think for tumbling, the girls there all have a running bet of what we're having. So I think we're gonna do a gender reveal just for them. Um, we did a gender reveal with Bella because she was still technically considered a COVID baby and my husband couldn't go to the appointment with me. So we did a whole gender reveal party for that. Um, but this time I just want to know and I want to know like now. <laughs> so what are you doing? You got your pillow? You ready to go in the room? Okay. Do you want to finish watching Mickey Mouse? Okay. Oh, come mama. I'm being summoned. So I will catch you on the next one. Bye guys.